House District race that involves voters in Maple Grove and Osseo is among those that will result in a power shift at the state capitol. I've equated it to sort of walking on sunshine. We are just overjoyed. Um, I completely elated and excited. Um, I know that my team did an amazing job. DFL or Kristen Bonner defeated Republican incumbent Dennis Smith by more than 1,300 votes for the right to represent House District 34B in St. Paul. Bonner has never held public office and she said she already has a list of priorities she'd like to focus on at the legislature. That list includes passing bills, bills dealing with elder abuse and tax conformity. When asked if she benefited from being part of the so-called blue wave that thrust Democrats into office statewide, she said there's more to it than that. In order to ride a wave, you got to paddle like heck to get out and get into position to be able to ride that wave. So I think for me, it was a lot about hard work um, and determination. The Bonner victory is one example of a strong showing by Democrats in the suburbs. As a result, when the Minnesota House convenes in January, the DFL will take control. The DFL picked up 18 seats in Tuesday's election and will hold a 75-59 edge. The Jenny Cleborn victory over Republican incumbent Sarah Anderson in Plymouth's House District 44A is another local example of where the DFL flipped a seat.